We have a brand new ABC News Washington Post poll which shows a late game surge for President Obama, pulling ahead by three points. Will it put him over the top or does Governor Romney have another move? Let's begin with White House correspondent Jake Tapper leading us off from Iowa. He's there traveling with the president. Jake. Good evening, Diane. President Obama, accompanied by his top aides and Bruce Springsteen, hopscotched across battleground states today. The key ones that his campaign feels will deliver him a re-election. They are Wisconsin, Ohio, and here in Iowa, where in many ways his national political career all began. Slightly ahead in our ABC News Washington Post national tracking poll, President Obama is ending his very last day of campaigning having enlisted the help of celebrity musician friends. That's not a bad way to bring it home. With the boss. The day began with Bruce Springsteen's Obama 2012 campaign song. Let's vote for the man that got Osama. Forward! Forward and away we go. Though even that was interrupted by Springsteen a, projecting liberal and progressive best, anxiety best about the race. First debate really freaked me out, all right? <laughs> <laughs> But then, uh, then, then Romney got schooled twice by Obama. Uh, then smiling Joe Biden brought the drama. The president's pitch that he is the same idealist he ran as four years ago. You've seen the scars on me to prove it. You've seen the gray hair on my head to show you what it means to fight for change. Here's what the president looked like four years ago. Like presidents before him, the gravity and intensity of the job has taken its toll. Even while jamming last night to the music of Stevie Wonder. You can know me, you can know me. Or to Jay-Z this afternoon. The hip-hop star replaced a curse word in one of his hit songs with the name of the president's opponent. I got 99 problems, but mid a one. The president's throat is rough from hours of non-stop campaign speeches. The tea he drinks on Air Force One has not been much of a balm. Diane, for those hoping for a respite from the campaign by watching Monday Night Football this evening, Eagles Saints, I have to warn them that both President Obama and Mitt Romney taped spots with ESPN's Chris Berman. So be forewarned, Diane. <laughs> Even there. Thanks so much, Jake.